On Monday 8th of September 2008, the London Stock Exchange, which is the third largest stock exchange in the world, crashed for almost seven hours. That particular day was promised to be one of the most active days in trading history. The market opened at 7 a.m. as usual, but at 9.15 the trading system crashed and it took them 6 hours and 45 minutes to restore the service and start trading again. This crash of the trading system led to a loss of almost 3 billion euros in trading. Discovering that your IT infrastructure or your processes cannot deal with such events at the moment they occur is fatal. But there is another path. There is a way to assess, to level and to improve the processes in place. Here in CRP Enrichidor, we have designed a way to assess IT processes on a very uh, structured and uh, repeatable way. In most organizations, we can notice that uh, for the Deming cycle implementation, the first two phases, the plan and the do ones, are pretty well implemented. The other two ones, the check and act phases, are much more weaker. And this is where TIPA comes very handy. In order to assess IT processes, TIPA relies on two key elements. The first one is the ISO 15504 International Standard for Process Assessment, which enables to assess any kind of process on an objective and repeatable way. Whoever is performing a process assessment, the results will be the same. On the other hand, you have the ITIL framework with the description of IT service management processes their objective, their expected results, the best practices to implement in organization. TIPA is based on the idea to apply the state of the art for process assessment to the state of the art for IT service management processes. One of the benefits of TIPA is to position processes on a maturity scale from 0 to 5. Each level corresponds to practices in place in the company and TIPA checks the practices are well implemented. The higher the processes are on the maturity scale, the more the processes are controlled, systematic and optimized. Here is the information that a TIPA assessment provides on process maturity. The example shows the incident management process that was assessed and the objective was to get an established process. The assessment results show that the process is fully performed, largely managed, but only partially established. Following these results, actions highlighted in the assessment report will need to be undertaken to improve the situation. Dimension Data is an international IT service provider with worldwide presence. A client calling a center in the States should receive exactly the same services, quality of services, level of services than a client calling in Australia. TIPA has provided us a formalized approach to assess our internal process maturity. One main lesson really was the necessity to have uh, an on-site coordinator. Imagine that we had performed 25 interviews in a week and that we are quite far away to prepare the assessment. So really second time when we went to India to perform the assessment, we had an on-site person who was looking uh, after us, who was taking care of the agenda, of the project plan, uh, having people being ready, being five minutes in advance and organizing all the stuff. And this was really a great uh, a great help. The second lesson we learn is the necessity to start with a top-down approach for the interviews. In Frankfurt, during the assessment, we started with the field engineers and with the service engineers. What was missing is the context of the center, the organizational context, the terminology, terminology used internally. So we decided in India first to have an interview with the service director and the process manager. Those people give us some very key information and it makes the difference when we interview the team. The third lesson we learn is the importance of the selection of the interviewees. You have to select a representative set of people. Do not go only for the heroes. Do not go only for the leaders. In line with Tudor's mission to achieve knowledge and technology transfer, we decided to launch a series of partnerships. The first partnership was with Van Aaron Publishing in order to edit and publish a book on TIPA. 
The second partnership is with ITpreneurs, a Dutch-based company that aims to develop a series of training around TIPA. In addition to the training and certification scheme, we also have a toolbox. This toolbox is designed to support assessors in the assessment process and to facilitate the consolidation of the results. We also have a network of certified consultants that can implement TIPA worldwide companies increasingly face the burden of being audited against ISO 20000, ISO 27000 and the like. What we aim to do is to develop an integrated and combined framework that would indeed leverage this burden and help companies get compliant against all these frameworks together.